Hello friends! My name is Coco and you don't know me and I don't know you but I'm very happy you're alive today. Ugh, it's hot today. It's like 100 and it's barely the beginning of May. Oh god, it's gonna get worse. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys are staying cool. Uh, one thing I just kind of wanted to bring up today is the subject of friends. Uh, how many of us have them? <laughs> anyway, the subject is friends and I had a life lesson that took 30 years to realize, but my life lesson is this. I loved making friends, and when I felt like I had a deep connection with a friend, I really, really enjoyed that, and I held on to that. And when my friends, my friends, would do some, excuse it, but would do some pretty cool shit, um, and some pretty heartless shit, I held that with me. How could they have ever done that? We were so close, and why would they hurt me like that? And I thought we were friends, and blah, 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 cry, 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 emotional turmoil, blah, 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 blah. And ultimately, I held on to those people for a very, very long time, I held on to them for years. How could they have done that? I thought we were so close, and I loved them, and, you know, we were like family, blah, 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 blah. But ultimately, what took me 30 years to realize is, if the people that you call friends do some cold shit to you, or do some heartless shit, or treat you anything less than human, they were never your friends to begin with. And instead of holding on to them, let them go. They weren't worth your time, they weren't worth your effort, they sure as hell weren't worth your emotion, and they were very lucky to receive those things. Um, you know, if they were so willing to flush your friendship down the drain, the reciprocation is you flushing them out your mind. What friend named so-and-so? And I know that sounds harsh, but at the same time, they wanted to treat you less than human. They wanted to purposely hurt you and break you down, so why should you even try to be with them? Why should you even care? Why should you even carry them? It took 30 years to realize that, you know, ultimately. It took 30 years to realize that. It took 30 years of understanding that and feeling heartbroken and feeling upset over some friends. But ultimately, why was I holding on to it? Why was I so hurt and afraid and upset over the memories of them and the emotions that they brought when clearly they don't even think twice about me? So why am I thinking twice about them? Why am I like, oh God, I, I hope someday, mm-mm. They treat you less than human, they treat you and do some cold shit to you, you can put them out your mind. They don't exist to you anymore because the people, the people that do exist to you that you should hold on to are the people that lift you up and the people that build you up and the people that support you in your life. The people that help you become a better you to not only yourself but to the world. So unless those people are doing that, kick them out. Only trust the people that really care about you and really love you and would never think of just hurting you just because they want to. So that's my advice for you today, okay? All right, friends, well, I love you all. Do the best you can. That's all that anybody asks for. And remember, I am very happy you're alive today, okay?